Baby, say hi. Baby. Say hi. This is the scariest part. Heyo, what are you doing? I'm cutting this hex to fit. I had to adjust this because we moved the... So, quick uh, update or recap on what happened is uh, this particular valve uh -huh. requires between requires that between the valve and the tub spout there is a minimum of eight and a maximum of 18 inches uh -huh. between them and it also requires that it's either copper or iron pipe according to the manufacturer so uh, whereas others you can use PEX uh, for this which is what we're doing for the rest of the shower the uh, and it's fine to do for the rest of the shower for this uh, valve this, this valve right here um, but for some reason, it's not allowed here. That part is not allowed to be passed. Uh, no idea why, um, especially if it's the same size pipe and I imagine the same water pressure going up that way as it is going down that way. Um, but whatever, we'll try and follow the manufacturer guidelines. Uh, and so it says copper or iron pipe there, so we did that. Uh, but also moved this up from its original location down here to create more room um, and to make it the uh, shower controls at more of a reasonable height. Yeah, I that's I don't like know why they were better. so low before. And we can't move the top one without getting an inspection, right? Uh, I believe that's the case, yeah. I think that's the... Uh, that's if, if you're just replacing the shower... Uh, head and stuff, or if you're going in the same location, uh, like you're just replacing the materials and whatever, and you don't have to get it inspected. Cool. Uh, and then I'm just trying to make sure, it's supposed to be an eighth to a quarter uh, from the an eighth to a quarter of an inch uh, up from the base of this to get it to uh, uh, clamp, or to get it to seal properly. Can you hold that down like that actually? Just like keep that nice and straight. I think this is so nice because I think plumbing for a lot of people is very intimidating because they think they have to do like welding or not welding. What's it called? Soldering. Yeah. And so this one, you know when it's done, because it, it won't, like if you, if you cinch only part way, it won't come undone. So you actually have to go in all the way before it will release. So you know when you've uh, got it properly. Cool. So hopefully that's good now. Um, do you have to do any soldering on the copper part? Uh, no, you could have, but um, uh, instead I got, there's a, these fittings called Shark, shark Bite fittings mm -hmm. uh, and so no soldering is required you just um, like I just use the uh, pipe dope or it's this paste right here uh, for the to seal around the threads uh, and then tighten that on real good um, and then you just then you can just uh, put the copper pipe uh, up in there and it gives you like a depth gauge to know that you've got it sitting in all the way um, for different size uh, diameter tubing and pipes and stuff that you could do that for. Tell me, Jonathan, where did you learn how to use the PEX fittings? Uh, from our good friend, 
from the great north, Jeff from Home Renovision. He's a Canadian, yeah. I mean, he's, A. He's a Canadian, A. This is the scariest part. We're gonna turn the water back on and see what happens. Hopefully nothing, that'll be the best. Uh, water, water tip, have two people do it. Both be on your phones while you do it with each other. So if the water's coming out where it's not supposed to, you can say to each other real quick on the phone, turn it back off instead of just screaming in the house. Turn it off! Mm -hmm.